After an incredible 2018, a year which bowed out gracefully with fireworks in the heavyweight division. Greatest sporting stories you would ever see. We go again, starting with a bang. And then, boom, the left hook. Pay-per-view banger. An all-too-familiar contrast between two very distinct figures. I'm just ready to take what's mine. Two fighters who, especially on their A-game, stand at the pinnacle of the sport. It's going to be the same as it was before, obviously, age, but he still has power and he can still hurt you. you know, uh, I got a chance of a lifetime and I'm, I'm ready. Speed, agility and power with world titles in 12 weight classes combined. <laughs> Nostalgic MGM matchup, bringing back the mixed emotions of the past. Hey, keep on talking about rematches and we gotta get past me first, big feet, motherfucker. Another loud, charismatic American against the pride of the Philippines. I got the whole hood with me, H O O D. Welcome to Pacquiao versus Broner, a Motivedia presentation. Fighting, especially for those who reach the upper echelons of the sport, is a way of life. From Serengani province, Philippines. And calling time on something which has brought so much positivity is one of the toughest decisions of a fighter's career. Never more so than for a man who makes the long walk to the ring this month for the 70th time as a professional, Manny Pacquiao. A man adored by his nation and admired by his peers. And a man with nothing left to prove, except maybe to himself. I feel like lonely when, when I realized I hung up my gloves and no more boxing for me. It's hard when you love a sport and boxing is my passion. The bout will be just a few days short of Pacquiao's professional debut anniversary 24 years ago at which time Broner would be a mere six years old. He's not a young buck, and that could come back to haunt him. All right, tail of the tape for Lisanola Laguaba against Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, I'll get it right, Pacquiao. That same surname which proved tricky for boxing commentators back in 95, but slowly transformed into one of the most iconic of our generation. Just want to prove it to the people that Manny Pacquiao is still there, still alive, very dangerous. However, they say life begins at 40, so maybe this counts as a personal debut for the Hall of Famer. Either way, the Filipino managed to surprise a lot of people in July, knocking out Matisse in the seventh. Uppercut again and he puts him down again! Pacquiao floors him a third time! Whilst it's not quite the same buzzsaw style that terrorized opponents pre-2015, many of its trademark attributes remain. Though exactly how much does the eight division world champion have left? I think he's gonna come ready. I think he's gonna come hungry. And I think that he's going to be set out to prove once again that he's one of the best fighters this year. I think it's a gauge for, for Manny. You yeah. know, he's gonna, we're going to see where, where Manny's at right now. So. Initially returning with his eyes on Mayweather, Pacquiao has now found himself deep within a stacked out welterweight division. And it's these question marks which keep the demand driving to see Pacquiao test himself against today's very best. Namely, an outspoken and flamboyant character, even more eager to put his name back where it belongs. I definitely want to show everybody that I'm still the AV that everybody wants here. A man who has had to adjust all aspects of his life to be gifted a rare second chance in a sport which offers very few. It means a lot to me, honestly. Uh, a win, I turn the legend overnight. Unpredictable yet audacious 
and Adrian Broner event is still one of boxing's most captivating wildcards. Despite having impeccable skills, timing, and power, the Cincinnati fighter has never quite fulfilled his potential. Though, back with Kevin Cunningham and working alongside Gervonta Davis, Broner is still capable of shocking the world, maybe now more than ever. You know, as long as I get myself in the best shape I can be in, I'll be ready for whatever Manny Pacquiao brings. And also, whilst people love to hate Broner's brashness and arrogance, his unwavering resilience is slowly turning fight fans back in his favor. I love this fight for Broner, though. I really, 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 really love this fight for Broner because the number one asset is that straight right hand. It's the number one weapon against all southpaws with right-handed fighters, and that's his best punch. Always willing to step up and fight the best, no matter what the outcome, Broner has never shied away or made excuses. And never lacking spirit, he has always stood by his ability to bounce back. Sean, I'm a three-time world champion, and I will be a four-time world champion before 24 and four different weight classes. <laughs> However, after his knife-edge draw with Jesse Vargas back in April, an outburst in front of Showtime's Jim Gray made his frustration clear. Um, he came to fight, but at the end of the day, man, y'all know I beat him, man. No homo, man. I, I won that fight. Point blank, period. Once again missing out after a slow start to the fight, expect him to be firing on all cylinders at the MGM. You know in boxing there's nothing more dangerous than a young fighter with something to prove. So you really don't know what's going to happen. It really depends on which Adrian Broner shows up. And despite all previous accolades, make no mistake, a victory on January 19th would be the biggest of his career. So it comes a focus when you fight a guy like Billy Packout. Focus. Don't like extreme laser focus all night long. I don't think I don't think Broner has the ability to do that. I don't know, you know, but he's been knocked out three times. We know he can go he go out and go to sleep. With many attributes in his favor, he enters the fight with every belief he can knock out Pacquiao in devastating fashion. Entering the ring is the younger, taller, and longer reaching of the two. The effectiveness of Broner's power and timing will be a huge factor in how the fight plays out. And whilst it's hard to argue against Pacquiao's slowing of age, his footwork and combination punching is on another level entirely. After all, it's the shots that you don't see coming which hurt you. Something that has always, and still could be, Manny Pacquiao's saving grace in the twilight of his career. My common sense tells me Pacquiao fights at range and he does well. Mm -hmm. But. Is his age catching up to him? Manny wins. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. After the sixth, seventh around, uh, Manny Pacquiao will start, you know, landing some good shot and do damage because Manny Pacquiao can really hurt you with anybody. Plus, going into the fight as the favorite, with double the professional experience, Pacquiao has been here many times before. Broner will have to capitalize early on with a much higher punch output than his most recent displays. Broner got the uh, skills and the talent and the abilities to be any guy at any given day. Though both have stoppage potential, with Broner showing the power to knock down the likes of Porter, and Pacquiao still having enough to stop Matisse. victory on his return fight! So don't be surprised if the fight is cut short in devastating fashion. I still think Manny's a late round stoppage. If he's off his game, it's an early round stoppage. In a division with so many names chasing the top spot, we see Thurman's return later this month with Khan and Crawford on the horizon, as well as Spence Garcia in March. March 16 in Dallas at Jerry's World. An array of mouth-watering welterweight contests that promised 2019 to be a standout year. Though on the 19th of January, at the MGM Grand, we await a huge, must-win fight for two of boxing's elite. Again, picking up the pace, throwing punches and punches. Oh, well overweight, champion of the world. A showcase of speed versus timing, and age versus youth. The Pac-Man against the Can-Man. Pacquiao versus Broner.